Man, we back at it again with another official episode of Unchapped the Podcast. Today, we got a very, very special guest, man. We the hottest podcast of the streets. We got the number one nigga out of Philly. It don't matter who you... This, this, this shit like baby and them. This shit unfuckwittable, man. What's good, Kwani? We got OT7 Kwani in the fucking building. Oh, we coming. You ready, Lil? Absolutely. Bro popping it. He, he started off popping it, bro. He's showing this shit different. Bro put out straight dog shit. Hey, you you hear me? Joseph for president, man. Hell yeah. Oh, we That's what's going on, bro. But, you know... We gonna get into everything, but first off, I definitely appreciate you for coming down, bro. Definitely, you show bro so mad love for tapping into the number one podcast. You feel me? We ain't just the number one podcast of Delaware, bro. We got this shit. We got this shit sold up. You feel me? Like this, this shit us. Like Facts. besides million dollars worth of gaming, us we got that shit, bro. But yeah, that's we going That's how I'm coming, bro. <laughs> we got the streets, bro. You feel me? We 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 conquering the world, bro. I def, like I said, I appreciate it. Before we get it into, it, shout out to my man Bash from Seventh. Shout out to my man, bro. Definitely, I definitely I was up PA fucking with bro. But yeah, we gonna get straight into it, bro. So like, we need to know what's going on. We need to know how you became who you is today, Sosa, the one. Like you feel me? Cause this shit just don't happen overnight. So like, before we get into rapping and everything, how did you become who you is today? Oh, bro, everybody different. Oh, bless me, bro. I feel like the Lord bless me, bro. I feel like my like my circumstances, like my projects, helped me a lot, though. Just coming from where I come from, like my family and all that. But shit, it ain't nothing but the law, bro. You feel me? Nah, that's thorough. That's thorough. So you coming up in Philly? You know, real life shit is happening and everything, but like, what got you in, what you got, what got you into rapping? Because, it, you know, sometimes we hit a point where being a rapper not always cool until you make it. You feel me? Because, you know, sometimes I feel like niggas tend to get the sense of, that's Kwani the rap. He's a rap nigga, you feel me? And forget about what's really going on. I don't really be tripping about that shit. I know more than I used to, but once you get to like a certain space in your life, bro, that shit don't really matter. Yeah. I'm on a whole nother level. Like, respectfully, though. You feel me? Like, I ain't saying that like that, bro. I'm on some other shit, bro. I don't care about that shit. Nah, that's true. That's true, though. Yeah. Everybody go through that phase. You gonna go through that stage. Nah, that's how, you know, I'm still, I'm jumping hurdles. It's still, like, I ain't gonna say I'm really giving a fuck with. Coming, though. You yeah. Mean, nah, for real. You just gotta keep your feet planted. You feel me? Yeah. Yo, yo, so like, how would how would you describe like your sound of music? I don't know, bro. I be just trying to tell motherfuckers my story. Like, I don't like when they be saying like drill shit though. Like, right. I don't fuck with that, bro. Ain't nothing wrong with drill music, but I'm on some hustling shit, bro. Yeah, that's why I was. Right. Yeah, that's definitely. I definitely could say that because. Everybody else rap about that drill shit, you feel me? But it's like you talk that money talk. So it's like when I I know when I when I play that Kwani, I'm I'm ready to get to this motherfucking chicken. No, I appreciate it. Cause that that all day that motherfucking body for body was stuck in my head. You hear me? That's what I be trying to do though. I just be trying. That shit like let like, like, it, it for me like that's like lighting it out for me. You feel me? But at the same time, I be trying to show motherfucking like that shit possible, bro. Like, and show motherfuckers how to hustle Like not right. show them how to hustle But show them like That shit possible bro You gotta hustle right. bro. You gotta work You feel me like, That shit not just gonna happen For nobody Hey yo that's crazy Because like You got the youth too right Like like my son really put me on to you You feel me like I was listening to Leaf One day My girl like My girl like Yo I want my girl my kids he like, damn, that's my joy. I'm like, man, what the fuck you know about this? Yeah. The power joy, you feel me? I'm like, I'm like, oh yeah. So like, I just listened to. It. I said, oh, okay, I like yo. Now I mean, because like, it's really like it's a certain. Bro. Nah, not yeah. from sure. You feel me? But it's like certain people I listen to. So I'm, I'm older for real. You feel me? But like, I've been giving a lot of shit a chance, and I really, I was feeling your shit. You feel me? That I shit was cool. That shit, bro. Absolutely. Nah, when I when I knew shit was different is when uh I went to the YG Tech show in Philly. So you was 
there. Yeah, I was I was front row, bro. I on the blue hell star shit, bro. <laughs> I was there, bro. I was definitely there, nigga. Yeah, I was there. But nah, I was like, yeah, like bro really got like this shit ain't for play play. You know, like I didn't see niggas I didn't see niggas perpetrate in the worst way. Nigga like go on stage, pull out the bread, take the pictures with the chains, walk off stage, pull all this shit off, give it to the next man, you feel me? But like bro motion for real and I definitely I definitely respect that for sure. And another thing is, like, shout out to NR Board. Bro, you putting everybody in your hood on, bro. Like, anybody that want an avenue, you making it for them, and that's thorough. Shout out to the guys, man. Shout out Board. He in the stew right now. I was going to bring him, but. So, bro, put them shots up in the gym, man. He going he to gonna put his shots up right now. He working. Feel me, but definitely big shout out to bro. So, like, at what what point of your career did you realize, like, damn, bro, like, I'm really different with this shit because a, a million niggas in Philly rap, but it's like you got your own sound, your own style, you got everything is your own thing. But, like, at what point did you be like, damn, like, I really got this shit. Like, I'm about to make it happen. Like, I'm untracked. Probably, like, a couple months ago. For real? Damn. I, I thought you would have said, like, a year ago or something. Like, you, like, coming from where we come from, you lit here. So, it's like... Damn, that's crazy. Why you say that though? Like I just like, opening my eyes more, like realizing who I am type shit. Like, in a yeah. good way though, like just knowing where I'm going, what I'm shooting for, just knowing like, this shit not real. Like, yeah. Shit don't happen every day, you feel me? Hey yo, so like, so like, what really keep you motivated to, to keep on rapping though? My kids. Money. It's good money. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that rap money, good money. That shit cool though. I'm just okay. saying, like, once you get to a certain, like, to a certain level, right. you feel me? When you a hundred thousand a show, shit like that. You know right. what I'm saying? You got ten shows a month. Oh yeah. A million dollars. You know Facts. what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, that's lit for sure. So that shit, that's what the money is though. Like, doing shows and shit like that. Right. And the real cool following, you gotta sell some records. Right. I sell a lot of records. You, you dropped the album yet? Nah, you. <laughs> okay. Is it, is, it, is it coming soon or? If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Brandon Windham. I'm a local real estate agent here in Delaware and I help people buy and sell homes in Delaware. I've lived here my entire life and on this channel, you'll find everything related to living in Delaware. And if you're thinking about buying or selling in Delaware, I'll leave all my contact info in the description below and I'll actually throw it here on screen for you. I would love to have a conversation and potentially talk about working together if it made sense. So <laughs> nah, we definitely need to tape. But it'd be crazy, bro. You know you got you know you got like fucking small town suburban niggas beefing like, nah, nigga Kwani, my man, like fuck the mother nigga. Like, bro, like these niggas really like they love you, bro. Like you got a fan base that really love you. And the most thing I can say is like, bro, just keep that shit pushing, bro. Like I love them too. Yeah, like that's really thorough. Like them niggas, like you feel me, you got you got young boys that been been spoon fed their whole life, but they run around calling themselves droppers. You feel me? Yeah. So that's really thorough. Like, you know, that ain't it's really the image though. Like that ain't really the ain't why I'm doing that shit though for them to. I know that's how that shit go. Like it come with the territory when you lit and they watch like they watch you closely. Everything you say, what you doing, you know what I'm saying? But, but I'm trying to show them my how to change. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like that's the that's that's the best thing about it you can do. Like for me, for real, for real, I don't really encourage nobody to to do anything negative. But if you going if you gonna do something, at least get some money. You feel me? Cause like I feel like these niggas is crashing before they even get to taste some money. You feel me? Like these niggas is getting elbows or losing their life. On some beefing over shit that they don't even, you feel me? They don't got no reason to explain why they don't like you, but they want to smoke you. But they don't know why they don't like you. But they don't got no money in their pocket, but they don't like you. Like, that shit don't even make sense. So if you're going to do anything, 
Get some money. That's the main. You feel me? Get some paper, and that's where everybody get it fucked up at. And like, that's why I say I commend you about that too, because it's like you push the paper movement. You feel me? No matter what you're doing, though, like everything, a hustle, bro. Everything, no matter what, you gotta get some money, bro. You gotta take care of your family. That's the number one goal, bro. Take care of your family. You gotta take care of your family, bro. No matter what, especially Facts. if you a man. Whether you got kids or not, your family, you gotta take care of your family, bro. You need money, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. In today's world. So, like, but you don't leave war, right? That's your man. So, like, how did that, like, affect your career when he got locked up? I mean, this is sound crazy, but... That shit made me do better. Right. Like, it made me go harder. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. It took me in the right direction. Like, music, on the music side. I mean, I don't got my friend every day. You get what I'm saying? That right. shit, that shit hurt. You get what I'm saying? But, like, music, on the music side, shit made me go harder. Because when I talk to bro, he pushing me to go harder. You get what I'm right. saying? Then, motherfucker, I got to. You get what I'm saying? Because... He, he, he going and he watching me. Right. You know what I mean? And I ask because, like, a lot of people get in situations like that and just fall back from everything or just, like, kind of fall off for real. You know, they you know made me mean? go harder, bro. Made okay. Me go to the stool more. Right. All that. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'll be thinking about, bro. Like, I'll go to the stool, shit like that. You know what right. And the thing about it is, most of all, like you said, that's your real friend and you ain't forget about him. Because a lot of these niggas get in position and just be like, almost make it seem like they don't just got the time, got the time no more. You feel me? But like, that's definitely thorough that you ain't forget about, bro. And it's still, you know, free leaf war to this day. Free leaf war, man. Free Facts. Free bucks, too. Yeah, free war, free bucks, free walk. Free, free the men, bro. Free the men, for sure. Free the men. So it's like now, with everything going on, now you surpassing everybody in the city. Like, you you that boy. Like, it's no more like when you mention Meek or Uzi or Tierra Whack, you got to mention Kwani. So it's like now you at that point. So it's almost like, damn, like, you really here. So, like, in the midst of that, and, like, Leaf Book, like, so it's like, it's just like you just putting on for both of y'all. Because it's like, y'all like Shaq and Kobe. Like, that, like, bro. Putting on for everybody yeah. in the city. Nah, for sure. Word. Yeah. So, do you think that, like, the politics and street beefs and everything could be solved? You think you could bring everybody together in Philly? I'm a traveler. It ain't in the way, bro. Shit. I don't know. Like, being realistic. Nah, real shit. Because, like, in a sense, you could you could try, but it's, like, at a point where it's, like, it's too much bloodshed. Yeah, I don't got no beef, though, bro. I'm, I'm telling you. Yeah. Straight. That's a, that's that's definitely the best thing to hear. Yeah, no, nah, that's, that's de- yeah. the best thing to hear. No Not beef. A lot of money. Yeah. Facts. Facts. I don't want everybody else to stay out the way, man. It's 2024, man. It's thinking about money. Stay alive, no. man. Take care of your family, man. Yeah, and that's crazy because, you know, like, it's places in the world where... People don't get people like I feel like coming from where poverty, how we come from, and everything like that. We don't get the we don't get to have the same goals as people. Like sometimes, like we got we got different goals set up where it's like almost like surviving is like a goal. I'm good, bro. Surviving is almost like a goal type shit because it's like these niggas don't kill, like rappers getting killed, everybody getting killed. So it's like damn, like it's just. You just got to appreciate how much thankful and everything. You got to be more grateful about just waking up the next day. So it's like, that's already a check for somebody like us. And then, like, we in position. So it's like, now you just got to just keep, it's like, just keep an open mind in a sense where it's like, you can't even, in such, like, trust people that's supposed to be there for you, that you think they're for you, but it ain't really what it is. And that's, like, the most part with this shit, because it's like, man, it's just like, we don't really Sometimes we don't get Our fair shakes Or fair shot At this life shit Like a lot of people That's going for life Or a whole bunch of years And they talented Just like us It's probably a nigga in jail That can have a billion dollar Fucking podcast Like Gilly and them 
a nigga in jail that could rap and sing his ass off, but his story would never get to get heard because he got ran off the map early. Or that youngin on the corner that got killed for something he had nothing to do with it. He handled it. his brother and them smoke. He gone forever because of what another nigga, another nigga actions. You feel me? And that's like the most part that I want to do. I just want to preach that to all the youngins because I'm 22 myself. So it's like I feel like niggas would rather listen to me than than the old head from the block. You feel me? Like your name was on some shit. Like because times have changed. Niggas don't really respect the old heads. You feel me? Because in a sense, it's like. What can you tell me? How can you tell me something that didn't work for you? You feel me? Right. So, like, with that being said, do you got, like, a lot of, a lot of, like, older niggas or people you just had to distance yourself from because you noticed that they wasn't good for you or, like, they wasn't, like, you thought that this was supposed to be that, but it wasn't? Shit, it's a lot they could tell you, though. You could learn that shit from anybody. It's a lot of shit. They ain't... (laughs) I ain't gonna lie, bro, with a motherfucker like that, the people that, that didn't make it, shit, they the best ones to learn from. And they gonna tell you a million things that they did that didn't work. And you ain't gotta do what right. they did. But I feel like also that could be. I like that. Hey, yo, hey, nah, that's, hey, that's, hey, that's, hey, that's but, real. But listen, yeah, though, not to cut you off, but yeah, I like that. Hey, because hey, because I, never, I never looked at it like that. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's real. That's real. Though. That's Everybody definitely got real. Their own story, they own path. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's up to you. You know what I'm saying? But everything up to you, bro. This shit. Like, I, like I said, go back to God, though. But this shit, you got to do what's right, bro. No, nah, absolutely. Absolutely. But I say that in a sense where it's like, you got some niggas you can learn from. You got some niggas that's going to hold you back. Like, you, bro, I seen it with my own eyes, bro. Bro moved freely through the city, bro. I'm not saying, like, he, he still moved cautious and everything, but he he pulling up everywhere, bro. Bro jumped on the road and pulled up here. Like, he pulling up everywhere. And I say that in the sense of where it's like nothing, hold, you could tell nothing hold him back from what he trying to accomplish or his dream. You feel me? I that. Yeah, nah, for real. And I say that because, you know, you get caught up in the mission, like, you get people around that can't understand your vision. Like, you can you can move to Cali right now. Everybody will not. Everybody won't understand it. Like, oh, why he leave us behind or why he run out there or like shit like that. But they don't is they don't understand the vision or the mission is really not for everybody to understand. And like another thing that I really understood myself is everybody can't go. No facts. Everybody can't go. Everybody can't, everybody not allowed to go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't deserve to go. Right. You gotta do what you gotta do to go. Yeah, and that's real. Everybody got a job to do. Can't just sit around. Yeah. You got no niggas just sitting around, bro. You just sitting around, you just sit around. I don't sit around, so you ain't gonna just, how we gonna even be around each other? Yeah. We never gonna be in the same spot. I don't want to just sit around. Nah, that's true. So, yeah, yeah, so like, do you still move around with like everybody that you started with? Everybody. Did. I mean, people come and go, bro. Right. For some, for good reasons. Some pass away. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, for the majority, for the most part, it is all my real homies. They family. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, that's but, thorough. That's Everybody definitely still lit. Got a job to do, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, hey, and just like because like when certain people get to like certain spots in their life, like a lot of people start getting weird. You feel me? And really start like feeling like entitled to certain things. You know what the yeah, fuck that's up, how man? You get, that's how it go. Cause it's like, you but respect that shit. Nah, for sure, bro. I, like, now that I see, like, like I come from a place like Dover, Delaware, bro. This like a crab in a barrel city, bro. So it's like, I feel, I really feel like, like, sometimes I don't feel like this, but, like, I got a good support system. They make me feel like, like, you feel me? My cools, everybody, like, we the ones. Like, we, the, we already the who's who's from experience, past experiences and everything. But it's like, now we like the who's who's. So it's like, they coming to us for platforms now. So it's like. I'm in a position where I can help people, but it also go in a spot where it's like, 
Ain't nobody help me, bro. Like I did, I me and bro built this shit up ground up. You feel me? I brought bro along and we kept it pushing and we and we rocking, but it's like in a sense, I feel like I don't owe nobody nothing. You feel me? Cause it's like now you blow, bro. You gonna have, you got a thousand niggas that's a thousand niggas that's responsible for your for your blow. You feel me? Like, oh, I was I was this with Kwani or I was a rent, like you feel me? So how do you react to them type niggas? Because I'm pretty sure it's niggas that you had to fall out with about shit like that. Or you hear stories or hear bullshit and like, damn, word. Because it's like, man, this social media shit ain't, ain't a fair game, bro. Because it had been times where I done looked on that joint like, who the fuck is Mr. Drop something 22? I'm coming to get you. Man, I can't, bro. That shit, I be having short tempers with that shit, bro. Like, uh, this, I told you, bro, you gotta expect that shit. So what's keeping you from signing? Because I didn't see you fucking with Future, Free Band Gang. I didn't see you with Gumbo. You feel me? I didn't see you with all these different people. You know, so it's like, what's keep what's keeping you independent? Because a lot of niggas are jumping on that bag if it's right. You feel me? Because I feel like they come with the right bag for what's going on here. I'm 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 make, we making that we making that shit happen. Yeah, but, yeah, but I think I think it'd be a difference though, especially if you already. If you already got a bag, so so I just think that it's gonna be a little bit harder for labels to try to come at you though. No, it ain't, it, I used to think like that. It ain't really about that though. It'd it, it be about the money though, but it's more so about other shit. But I just was pushing, to see how far I could go. You know what I'm saying? Right. Independently, like really be a rapper though. You know what I'm saying? Marking myself, really put some money into it. Right. Really do shows, really travel, really be in the studio every day. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I just started, like I really just turned on like my full rapper, like 100% rap. How long you been rapping though, all together? Like a couple years, but I'm taking it serious, like like serious, serious for the past like two, but. Not completely serious now. I'm really locked in. You right. Know what I'm saying? But that's crazy though, because like for you to only be rapping for that long, bro, it don't like maybe it's because I'm from a different city and it's like we got local artists. Like it's kind of different because Philly way bigger, but we got artists that have been rapping for about ten years and they first foot through the door is maybe a fucking shout out. So it's like. How did you like? Was, how did you just pop up on the scene? Was able to be lit? Like it was just like it just happened. Told you, bro. I keep my keep my feet planted, bro. I just stay down, bro. You ever had a time where you was like, "Fuck yeah. this rap shit"? Yeah, all the time. Mm. Used to think about this shit all the time, man. But shit, I'm better than that. Yeah. I'd be a hoe if I do that. Nah, real shit. So how was the experience with Future? Because that's kind of major, bro. That's like one of the, like, he he top five in the game, you feel me? Because, like, when it's, when it's my time to, you know, kick it with them niggas and shit, you feel me? I, I fuck with everybody, but I need to see what's going on with Scooter. You hear me? That's my, that's my dog. <laughs> Young Scooter, my nigga, you hear me? I'm talking about I could run up, like, 250k in a week off a of scooter, bro. The motivation he puts is crazy, and it's like it's like them niggas fit you, bro. You you, you got the Taliban look just like all them niggas. You talk that 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 work shit. So it's like damn. So it's like was you was you was you like starstruck almost? Like damn, I'm really with future. Yeah, that shit was crazy. I ain't gonna lie. That's the first time that shit ever happened to me too, bro. I done, I done been around everything, like every room. You feel me? Yeah. Like everybody. He had all bad bitches with him, didn't he? Different. Them bitches different bad, ain't they? Oh, bro, different. He 
different. I ain't gonna lie. But that showed you, like, damn, like, I'm here. Like, it's almost like you like you there now because it's, like, fucking that's with bro, future, bro. Like, bro, really, that shit different. So, could we expect some songs from y'all, too? Yeah. Okay. I want, I definitely need to hear that. I fuck with Pluto. I probably got a song with you in the summer. Summertime. Summertime. Like, nice out, bring to the city. Right. That's mm-hmm. dope. You bring future to Philly. That's lit. Big dog shit. Yeah. Bring him to the trenches. Give him the red carpet. Fact. Yeah. So let me ask you this. I'm. I'm. You. You. You got a situation. I'm respected. Before I get into this question, like you got a girl and all that. I ain't really. Sure. What? What? I ain't. I'm just asking, bro. You know, I need to know, bro. Where the where the where the baddest joints at, bro? Because I don't deal with Philly bitches. So where the like you, bro? You didn't been with Future and them, so I know they they bringing like they bringing straight dimes upstairs. You feel me? Like is it on some shit like Pluto? Like hey yo, little give a little bro. Like it's just daddy. Like he just give a little bro. Because if that's what's going on, y'all niggas need to sign me up. I don't, I ain't that, yeah. I don't want no shit that nah, I feel you. I feel you. I feel that too. Like if I was on it. There's pretty girls everywhere, bro. <laughs> yeah. Everywhere, man. Are you right? It is pretty girls everywhere. Man, you, man. Man, like, man, KP really looking for sexy rage, yo. <laughs> KP looking for sexy rage, yo. KP Skywalker? No, man, me. I'm nah, KP. I can't be for, Skywalker. He's he funny. looking for sexy rage, yo. I know, you talking about rappers? I thought that's what you were saying. Oh, yeah. Nah, nah. I know, I know, bro. Shout out to him, but nah, nah, him. You looking for sexy rage, though? Nah, I don't want her personally, but I like the hood rat joints because just they they more understanding. You feel me? <laughs> they more under they more understanding. You feel me? Word. I like the I like the ratchets. Yeah. They understand it. I feel like they understand me. You feel me? We are gonna get this shit activated early. You fuck with sexy red music and shit. Nah, I fuck with her music though. Yeah, she turned the club up. But you turn the club up too, bro. When you start, I'm telling you, bro, niggas get that liquor in them, rolling off them, <laughs> got them perks off. You feel me? Everybody with the perk town. You feel me? You with the perk town? <laughs> you feel me? But hell yeah, though. So like, what was your what was your favorite feature though? Like, cause I see you, yo. What's up with these motherfuckers? Keep licking your music, man. Cash. That shit be goofy. I heard the joint with you and Herb. That shit was hard. Yeah, that's not the that's not the real one though. Mm. I got yeah. my rap. My first my first shot of trying to be a rapper. I got beat. Niggas sent me <laughs> nigga nigga niggas uh screen recorded a big thirty ending of the beat. <laughs> Sold me to like yo the big thirty doing a special for uh features. I seen them niggas some bread, bro. That shit was so. I'm in the studio arguing with the engineer, like, yo, that's how that shit. He like, bro, these not even stems, bro. This shit is like an MP3. Like, that shit was. They burned me though. It wasn't Big Thirty, but shout out to him. It was some goofy ass niggas burned me though. But that rap shit ain't work for me, bro. I just couldn't put it together. Nah, for real. So, like, what do you think it takes to be a rapper though? Like in today's time. Anybody, you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, but but it's like but it's like I feel that, but it's just certain places just not getting on though. Like Delaware, bro. Why niggas don't want to listen to niggas from Delaware? My man Bay out hard. My man Slimy Ten hard. Lake Boy, the one that just had the action, he hard. The whole Fifty Shots camp, he hard. Out. Shout out to Armor Fifty Shots. Accident. You can't in there when you say he huh? had accident. Nah, bro, word. They going no leg boy, though, bro. My mom. That's cool, though. Yeah. see that on camera, though. He having an accident, so. Right. Yeah, yeah. Bro, that's my man. Yeah, shout out leg boy, bro. For sure. Yeah, shout out to all the leg boys, though. Yeah. Shout out to all the Delaware artists, man. Trying to come up. Just keep doing what y'all doing, man. So, like, what you charging for a feature right now? 30,000. Thirty. Ain't nothing crazy, but once right. I drop, right. so 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 that like you give the hood niggas deals. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah, that's like, all. Some like, okay. Yeah, okay, okay, right, okay. Right, okay. Right, right, right. Teams, like, you know, <laughs> right. Motherfucker trying to come up, bro. I ain't. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to come up before. You know what I'm saying? I know how that shit work. 
But it's like like I was saying, like in the sense of niggas hating on you, because I see a few months ago you had like a little dispute with the nigga Quilly. Like, do you think he was just trying to use your name to get clout because he was dying off and you the hottest thing out? Or you like that shit was weird. Cause I ain't feel that. I don't even know you, but I'm like, man, I don't feel that shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. We ain't gonna, we gonna keep that. Old, but hey, yo, you give. Hey, yo, that was a good answer. Hey, yo, I ain't gonna lie, yo. You got, you got a cool laid back style. Y'all fuck with that shit. I appreciate you. I mean, how? Kwani too cool for Kwani too cool for school. We pushing peace, but yeah, free thug, Lucci on his way. Some money, man. Mm hmm. Yeah. I take care of my family. Get some money. That's what I'm on. You feel me? Nah, for real. But what? Three kids. Three kids? Yeah. Hey, we snack. How old are you? Three kings, man. 25. Then you 25, bro. I thought we was the same age. Nah, I said, I got, I got a baby on the way. He gonna be born any day now. I don't even want to talk about I don't even <laughs> talk about my situation. You hear me? <laughs> man, I got seven kids, bro. <laughs> all boys. No, I salute you. I got all boys. Three. Three boys. But but like Cheryl. I tell but like I tell KP, I'm like, bro, like it's a gift and a curse though. Yeah. You know what I mean, and like and like I just don't want my kids growing up being street niggas. You feel me? Versus being like brother, you be anything you want, bro. Like like you don't gotta follow the same path that I follow. You feel me? So now that's why I'm really trying to like switch it up and show them like, bro, like we can really do something good. No, you sure. feel me? And still make it instead of just dimbling dabbling in the street shit. Yeah. No, for sure. That's the, that's the most that's the most positive way to go, man. That's the best thing you could push, especially to the youth, man. Stay in school, man. And that's the thing, bro. You doing something where your sons can look on the TV and be like, damn, that's my pop. Yeah. That's my dad. Oh, yeah. My dad. <laughs> but what but uh what can we expect next from you, man? What's what's next for OT seven Kwani? I'm gonna put some music out. I'm gonna start driving. Start putting that shit out, man. That's really good. Got some features and shit on the way. Not too many, but the ones that I prefer. But put my project out. I got a show. Got a couple of shows coming up, like my shows. Like I got shows all the time, but like real shows I'm putting together. How that's thorough. Like coming up in New York next month. Mm-hmm. Might have to. Mm-hmm. Might got pop show. out. I just sold out the show in Connecticut. It's this Friday, what's, what's today? What's this today? this Wednesday, Wednesday, yeah. In two days, uh, show this Friday, sold out Connecticut. That's what's up. That's definitely thorough. New York, and I'm gonna set out to Philly. And I gotta do Rolling Loud, Roots Picnic. And oh, you're that's lit. Right. When the join in Philly, we gotta pop out the one to the one in Philly. One of the only independent artists, you feel me? I ain't trying to pop it, but yeah. Only independent artists, you feel me? Doing that. Right. They be trying. Yeah, nah, nah, that's, bro, you you gotta pop pop your shit, bro. Separate the differences, bro. Show these niggas from boys to men. I just found out, though, I was saying, we'll leave with this shit when I be talking to them. You know, they got shit in their phone that they see that we can't see, like stats and shit. You know what I'm saying? They see. When I sat down with Gotti, shit, he told me the same thing. For me, he told me like, damn, well, bro, you know, I, uh, being in the position I'm at right now, like being the owner or something. And yeah. And so he still make music, but majority of the time he he working. You know what I'm saying? So he knows right. the stats. He yeah. On the label, and you know what I'm saying? So this another reason why. I, I just started noticing why him taking this shit serious. Like, he helped me with that shit. Shout out to Big Bro, you feel me? Shout out to the whole CMG, but he told me, like, 
through the stats and it's showing me like, like he telling me I don't think you know how powerful you is, little bro. Like and the leverage you got right now, you like you like as far as a hundred percent independent artist, like you like bro, you the biggest like stats like on paper. Like numbers on live, bro. You see, you're the biggest hip hop artist in the world. Mm. That's you know, lit. My artist, his name Russ. Yeah, I heard of Russ, yeah. Shit. Right. You know Shout out to Russ, but he on some different shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Motherfucking shit open my eyes. And then when I start sitting with labels and they telling me, I'm asking them these questions, like, different owners and different labels. And I'm like, man, I'm like, who's doing the most numbers? How much I'm doing the week? And shit like that. So I don't really, I leave that up to my management. You feel me? I don't really. Look at those numbers and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? So now that I see it, I'm like, yeah, that's crazy. Like, I'm really a part of hip hop. Like, right. so when, like, you know, labels at me and shit every week, every month, you know what I'm saying? So when they in there, every month, it's the same conversation. And it's easy to toot your own horn and all that, but motherfucking, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit for real, bro. Right. And that shit opened my eyes. Like, he told me, like, yeah, like, Artists in the fucking USA, biggest in the world. Like numbers on a lot of shit on paper. Right. Yeah. They had meetings about you every week. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I know that. And I, I seen the transition because like when I first got hot. They say my meetings with the labels. I sit with the A and R's. Regular. I still talk to the A and R's and shit, but I sit like it'd be an average, average meeting. I was supposed to go, you know what I'm right. saying? Like, but once I start getting hot, and like now when I be having a meal, I it ain't nothing wrong with that, but I surpass a certain level that whereas though I go straight to certain rooms and I'm talking to presidents and chairmen and right. owners of the label, you know what I'm saying? And now they become a partner. Like, they Facts. Be my partner rather than just, oh, we trying to sign you. You know what I'm saying? They see the vision. They respect it now. It's just really up to me making the right decision. Cause I never signed a deal before, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm still trying to learn the game. Figure it out. But I'm definitely gonna make a move soon. Cause I feel like I got as big as I can independently. Like I got the most leverage I got. That right. you can get, you know what I'm saying? So motherfucker got this shit, man. I done mastered this shit. I don't know where everything I'm only gonna get better though, you know what I'm saying? And that's thorough. Is there so about to start dropping though? Yeah, we need you to drop, bro. This shit gets sick out here. We need you to. So before we wrap it up, I got one more question. Is there any rapper that you really, really wanna work with? Forever? Yeah. That you really wanna collab with. Got you, got you. But man, tell the people where they can find you at. At OT7 Kwani on everything, man. Subscribe my YouTube, man. You already know, man. Tap in. Shout out to the podcast. Man. Shout out Untrapped the Podcast. Appreciate you. Bring me up, man. You feel me? Shout out Lil KP Shout and Kwani. We here. Facts. Shout out to Dover. Shout out to Philly, man. Shout out to everybody. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Coming, social president. Tell them where they can find you at, bro. Jalil underscore Carter on Instagram and on Facebook. Jalil Barter on Snapchat. Y'all can find me at Ball Out K on everything. Untrap the podcast. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Please subscribe. Follow, like, comment. It's the biggest. Till next time. Please surprise. Yes, subscribe. Till next time. We out.